What is an elephant graveyard? Do dying elephants actually separate themselves from their herd to meet their maker among the bones of their predecessors? Just as searching for the Holy Grail was a popular pastime for crusading medieval knights, in the 19th century, adventurers felt the call to seek out a mythical elephant graveyard. According to legend, when elephants sense their impending deaths, they leave their herds and travel to a barren, bone-filled wasteland. Although explorers have spent centuries searching for proof of these elephant ossuaries, not one has ever been found. And the elephant graveyard has been relegated to the realm of metaphor and legend. Unlike most mammals, elephants have a special relationship with their dead. Researchers from the United Kingdom and Kenya have revealed that elephants show marked emotion, from actual crying to profound agitation, when they encounter the remains of other elephants, particularly skulls and tusks. They treat the bones with unusual tenderness and will cradle and carry them for long periods of time and over great distances. When they come across the bones of other animals, they show no interest whatsoever. Not only can elephants distinguish the bones of other elephants from those of rhinoceros or buffalo, but they appear to recognize the bones of elephants they were once familiar with. An elephant graveyard, though a good way to ensure that surviving elephants wouldn't be upset by walking among their dead on a daily basis, does not fit with the elephant's seeming sentiment toward their ancestors. The biggest argument against an er elephant burial ground can be found in elephants' treatment of their elders. An elephant would not want to separate itself from the comfort and protection of its herd during illness or infirmity, nor would a herd allow such behavior. Elephants accord great respect to older members of a herd turning to them as guiding leaders. They usually refuse to leave sick or dying older elephants alone, even if it means risking their own health and safety. Although there is no foundation for the idea that the elephant graveyard is a preordained site that animals voluntarily enter, the legend likely began as a way to explain the occasional discovery of large groupings of elephant carcasses. These have been found near water sources, where older and sickly elephants live and die in close proximity. Elephants are also quite susceptible to fatal malnutrition, which progresses quickly from extreme lethargy to death. When an entire herd is wiped out by drought or disease, the remaining bones are often found en masse at the herd's final watering hole. There are other explanations for large collections of elephant bones. Pits of quicksand or bogs can trap a number of elephants. Flash floods often wash all debris, not just elephant bones, from the valley floor into a common area. Poachers have been known to slay entire herds of elephants for their ivory, leaving the carcasses behind. In parts of East Africa, however, groups of elephant corpses are thought to be the work of the Mazuku, 
the Swahili word for evil wind. Scientists have found volcanic vents in the Earth's crust that emit carbon monoxide and other toxic gases. The noxious air released from these vents is forceful enough to blow out a candle flame, and the remains of small animals and birds are frequently found nearby. Although these events have not proved to be powerful enough to kill groups of elephants, tales of the Mazuku persist. Although no longer considered a destination for elephants, the elephant graveyard still exists as a geologic term and is a figure of speech that refers to a repository of useless or outdated items. Given how prominent the legend remains in popular culture, it will be a long time before the elephant graveyard joins other such myths in a burial ground of its own.